Hi everybody, it's Alderwoman Harris and I'm here with a special guest, Talena Massey, for this week at City Hall. We're here to talk about all of the wonderful things that are going on for Juneteenth of New Bern. What do you have for us? <laughs> so, um, I would first like to thank all of the supporters and, and individuals like yourself who are helping us uh, make sure that this year's Juneteenth celebration is one of the biggest and the best that we've ever had. Um, we really have a lot of energy around it this year. We didn't even know if we were going to be able to have it at first because of COVID and restrictions and things like that. So literally what you guys will see um, throughout the 10 days that we have events is a culmination of a lot of blood, sweat, tears, and love from multiple organizations, groups, individuals, supporters, um, everything. We're taking kids lunch money, whatever you got. <laughs> I'm joking. We're not taking it, but people are literally generally um, giving whatever they have to be able to make sure that this um, event is great, including their time and talent. So uh, to kick it off, really, um, the week prior to Juneteenth, as we know it, which is June 19th every year, mm -hmm. but they are called, um, all of the activity leading up to that day is called Sankofa Days. Mm -hmm. And those are days where you reflect back into your community, on your ancestors, on your, um, your elders, and just educate, you celebrate, you really bring a lot of your community together to have different events. So the Sankofa Days this year um, began on June 11th with the Craven Arts Council and Galleries Art Walk. Awesome. Um, if you haven't been to an art walk, I haven't. Don't don't be mad. <laughs> it's okay. A lot of I'm gonna go have. this year though. I appreciate it. I definitely do. As a member of their board, I am very much supportive of, of a lot of the work that they're trying to do, including the Unity Hands that are at Broad Street Christian Church. So, um, which is another participant in Juneteenth this year. That's right. Which is great. Um, but they will have work from local celebrities like Lee Hood, um, as well as some younger artists. It's always great to see the intergenerational pull that this event has. Mm -hmm. um, so if you get a chance, check out the Juneteenth of New Bern Facebook page for years prior to um, this year. But also check out the Craven Arts Council and Galleries website to see some of the other displays that will be there this year. Um, but they will have that art walk on June 11th, and that is from 5 to 8 p.m. at 317 Middle Street, and that is in our beautiful downtown New Bern. So please go out and visit and bring some friends with you. But that is just the beginning. Yes, it is. <laughs> because at 7.30 p.m. that evening, uh, June 11th, will begin the Sankofa Musical Review Ooh. by the New Bern Civic Theater and the African American Heritage and Cultural Center. Yay! So they have gotten together to, to come up with this amazing musical review that will include um, spoken word and dance and song. And it's really, um, I believe the theme is reaching back to what we've forgotten. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, so they're doing three days. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, pollen. <laughs> three days of... Um, song and dance. The first two days, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, June 11th and June 12th at 7:30 p.m. Um, and then on the 13th will be at 2 p.m. at the Civic Center, which is located at 414 Pollock Street. So please check out their website to get your tickets. Um, more details will be announced um, between now and Juneteenth of where you can find this information, but also you are more than welcome. The entire community is welcome to join any of the planning meetings on Wednesday nights and uh, Friday nights at 6 p.m. via Zoom. Those are open to the entire public. You can jump on, you can just listen, you can engage, you can provide comments because this is truly, truly a, a communal and democratic process of how everything comes together for Juneteenth and everyone is allowed That's awesome. as long as you are respectful on there because we've had a couple of Zoom incidences throughout our Zoom time during COVID which <laughs> have been very interesting not just in this organization but um, so we just ask that you that you uh, check out the website for Juneteenth uh, Juneteenth of New .com, or on the Facebook page um, and you will find that Zoom link to that join those meetings. Awesome. So on the 13th, the morning of the 13th of June, there will be a prayer and fellowship at uh, Trinity Chapel AME Zion Church, which is located at 1208 Broad Street. Um, they will have a, a nice church service, which will have a unifying message, 
and then they will have refreshments afterward. So please feel free to come by and, and pray with us for a great Juneteenth week because there's so much more after that as well. Yes. So are you ready yet? Because we're am. not done. I am. But <laughs> before you go with the next one, I just wanted to do an intermission and see if you can explain just the basics of what Juneteenth is. Sure. What it means to us. So Juneteenth for Americans is such a significant day because our fellow brothers and sisters had not um, heard um, in the past when the Emancipation Proclamation was passed that they were uh, liberated as well. And it took in Texas, Galveston, Texas, um, almost two years for them to actually receive the word that they were liberated. So, and they actually had to send in uh, General Granger with the Union troops to make the announcement because obviously in some parts of our country they were still a little bit stubborn about um, all of us being equal. So with that being said, um, Juneteenth is the day that we remember and June 19th that General Granger came to Galveston, Texas and announced that um, our African American brothers and sisters were liberated and emancipated and they had a world of a celebration. I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Yes. Also known as Jubilee. <laughs> yes. Jubilee. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, Juneteenth since then has been celebrated, you know, with varying support throughout the years. And we're at a point now, I believe, in American history where it's so important and it's so, um, it's, it's becoming more well known to um, really get out there, learn more of our history, and um, celebrate our brothers and sisters. Yeah. So again, it's it's American holiday, it's patriotic holiday, and um, we just really encourage everyone to learn as much as you can about Juneteenth, um, share that information with your friends and family, and hopefully come on out and celebrate with us for the huge festival on Saturday, um, but not just that, the rest of the week as well. We are really hoping that by the end of this, we will all understand that we have a whole lot more in common than we have uh, differences. So that's really what the purpose of this is and for everybody to come together and celebrate. And that is why we are very conscious of making sure that these events include various parts of the city um, and all of our citizens as a whole. All of our communities. Yes. So with that being said, Maybe I'm going to jump back next. into the schedule. Let's this go. This is like an infomercial. <laughs> but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> um, so then we kick it off on Monday, June 14th with the Juneteenth Kickoff Podcast. And if you remember, we've had these in the past with um, several of our community partners in the past. But this year, I'm happy to announce that at 7 p.m. on June 14th, Project Restore, the movement, and other uh, Juneteenth committee members We'll be going live for a special edition with New Burn Now Woo! and Wendy. The pod, <laughs> yes, was. yes. So I got that confirmation yesterday. Super excited about that, and I love partnering with our local crews to make sure that um, we are as authentic as possible and we are getting everybody involved. Yes. So I'm sure she's gonna have a joke too for you <laughs> in the comments. It's gonna be super easy, right? And we'll try to have some sort of giveaway as well yeah. for that. I'm really hoping too to somehow incorporate some of the members who have helped us from the Juneteenth of Buffalo Festival, which yeah. is the third largest festival I found out in the world yeah. that celebrates Juneteenth. They have been uh, monumental in guiding us and sending things to help us with like, you know, our vendor stuff and all of that. They've right. been doing this for so long. I think they posted a video in 1988 yesterday wow. of a throwback Juneteenth parade that they had. So, wow. Yes. So to know that that's where our guidance is coming from, um, partially. But we know how we are down here as well. We don't want too much of North getting, uh, having uh, any sort of sway over yeah. our celebration. How we so, do it the Southern style way. Yes. <laughs> so we want to make sure that, again, it's as authentic as possible. And we include as much of our homegrown um, community as possible. You're inclusive, so everybody is welcomed. Exactly. What's going on Tuesday? Mm, bring your towels. <laughs> because we are working out. <laughs> Tuesday is uh, the mental health and wellness day for Juneteenth. So we are doing Zuma in the park. Yes. As well as Fit Friends on Deck. We are starting at 6 p.m. at Fort Totten Park yes. with Vincent McDuffie. And he has an amazing workout group that meets 
literally every week, uh, a couple times a week during that time in the park anyway, and they work out. Awesome. So why not just expand that again to the entire community and let them know that your neighbors are getting together yeah. and they're getting slimmer and it, the summertime is coming. Right. So who's, who's doing Zumba? Oh, so Zumba starts at 7 p.m. And that is with Kayla Ingram and K-Zone Fitness. Ooh. Kayla's known for her Zumba and having them in the ballroom downtown. Yes. As well as around in other places throughout the city. So she will be with us that night and offering a very energetic and lively Zumba that night. And she's a, a DJ, so she carries her little, her DJ <laughs> set with her. So it's going to be amazing. I used to do Zumba with her. I had to stop because it was... It was too much. <laughs> I, I couldn't do all the Zumba moves. So I could do like the beginning of the Zumba moves and then all the mother dances. I'm just doing my own thing. Like, too much. So gotcha. I'll be there in support, passing out water. And uh, why you guys Zumba? I'll be there. <laughs> so, um, and guys, just like we said, you don't need anything. Just come out there, enjoy yourself, stretch before you get there. Please know <laughs> that. Um, if, if you haven't worked out in a while, then, then you start slow, but we definitely want you out there. <laughs> so, and with that being said, we move on to Wednesday, which is HBCU Day. Awesome. So we have Ramona Green with Project Restore. We'll be pulling together an event with local alumni from HBCUs to discuss with our youth and anyone else who's interested um, the education and history around some of our most significant HBCUs throughout North Carolina and also some of their alumni and the importance of the sororities and fraternities that are there as well. Awesome. So that is going to be a great day of fellowship as well. We'll have some, some ethnic food and, and it will be free to everyone to just come out and enjoy and as soon as we have a location um, and a venue uh, confirmed, we will let everyone know on the Juneteenth of New Bern Facebook page where that will happen. Awesome. I'm excited to I see too. Um, how our children interact and learn about you know colleges and things like that. I have myself a team that is looking at colleges now so I think this is an amazing day for him to go awesome. and really look at that so I'm excited for that. Back to the other news of what's <laughs> happening on Thursday. Yes so on Thursday we have Tryon Palace presenting an African-American lecture. Mm -hmm. They typically have a lecture series with Miss Sharon Bryant there and um, all for the last I want to say three or four years with Juneteenth. She yes. has partnered with me to ensure that we have some sort of Juneteenth message during June. So this year it will be a virtual event. It's typically at the History Center, but it is completely virtual. There will be a Zoom registration that will come out. You will have to register and then they will send you the link. Awesome. Yes. Um, and that is at 7 p.m. So hopefully well, you, you guys are dinner too. Ready. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Or eat dinner while you learn. There you go. <laughs> so on the 18th, we have the only ticketed event for this year, but um, it is not the first year that this group has done it. So if you are interested in getting dressed up in your most fabulous textiles, <laughs> we will be having a rooftop premiere a celebration for Juneteenth with the Young Urban Professionals of Eastern North Carolina. Woo! Super excited about that. Um, for that event, we will have Chef Smoke with the Flame. We'll be providing the food for the event. And we will also have DJ Chaos yes. from the radio station 101.9 KISS FM. He will be the DJ for the evening. This will be located at 405 Middle Street. And technically, it's kind of 401 and yeah, 405 because yeah. it's the same building on the corner of Middle Street and it's across from Broadway. Chelsea's <laughs> yeah everyone knows where the Chelsea is in New York we do <laughs> want to give a shout out because um we all know Stubbs of and course. Captain Raddies he he's mm -hmm. been a big supporter of of all of the professional groups so we mm -hmm. get so excited because this is an amazing event for people to come out and see what we do mm -hmm. and it's fun and it's a double decker this year so we're going to be in the parking lot and on the roof. So and our title sponsor is Captain Ratty is a yeah. Buzzy Stub. So yes. we would thank you guys so much for everything and all the support you've shown us from the beginning of Yup all the way till now to getting um, a lot of the professional groups together and providing a safe space for us to be able to provide services and network um, positively for business. So thank you so much for all that you do for us. Um, and again, 
you guys we're gonna have the what's the buzz lounge at the rooftop party where you can come in and talk about your business or talk about what you got going on in the community and we'll have that content out in the community for you so and we'll be buzzing about all the stuff that's gonna happen at the festival please dress up uh, and dress appropriately and we look forward to seeing you guys there and that starts at 7 p.m. drum roll for the big Coming to a new burn neighborhood near you. Yes. We promise it is going to be bigger and better and bolder than it has <laughs> ever been before in the past. Starting with a 10 a.m. Yes. Tour with the historical uh, signs dedication. There will be um, over a dozen signs erected in the Duffy Field neighborhood that talk about its history, his, uh, historical significance of some buildings and neighborhoods that you can walk around. It's a walking tour yes. throughout the neighborhood. Yes, and that will be with Bernard George and the Historical Science Committee, and that dedication will again be at 10 a.m. at the corner of Roundtree and Broad Street. Mm -hmm. You yes. might see me on the stage. Hmm. <laughs> you might see your local ornament on the stage. Um, as well as following that, at 11 a.m., we have a Mardi Gras style walking parade Woo! and that is going from Stanley White where we're going to meet there before the historical signs um, dedication so we have to be out there around 10 o'clock the, the streets hopefully will be closing before 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. so if you need to get there and get parked um, please be in that area um, and, at, and meet us at Stanley White uh, lined up by 1045 so step off can be at 11. Mm -hmm. And we just got a bit of amazing news when it Did comes to we? that walking parade. <laughs> um, so I will tell you guys now, if you have never seen our local Marine Corps band, you will see that band walking the 0.77 miles from Stanley White to the Big Field and Craven Terrace during the walking parade for Juneteenth. Got the confirmation this morning. Is yes. that awesome? The entire band, the entire the resource entire band, band will be walking in the Juneteenth Parade this year. I don't think we've ever seen Marines walking down Broad Street. We are so excited. <laughs> we are. Charge up your Super cell excited. Phones. And can I say really quick, can Go I ahead. just give a small short testimony? Go ahead. I became a Marine when, because when I was six years old, I went to a Juneteenth Festival. Really? And I saw the recruiters walking down in their Charlies walking through the walking parade wow. and I looked up at my mom and said I want to be a Marine. So to know that in coordinating Juneteenth for New Bern that I was able to do full circle yeah. request that band to come and they're going to walk through that neighborhood That's particularly awesome. and, and give that energy to children just like they did for me is like like when I say I did a praise dance this morning yeah. because it, it really showed me that regardless of any of the bumps or, or um, anything that we go through, the hard work, the sweat and tears that it takes to coordinate this event, I'm sorry, is it's all worth it. Yes. And we're going in the right direction and we're doing something good. So for that, for nothing else, just come out to the parade, come dance with us, come celebrate, come sing, because New Bern is an amazing place to be. And if you don't get that out of this culmination of events, I'm not sure where you're going to have to move to get it, <laughs> but this is it. Yes. And so, I'm so excited. Um, super excited about that, but yes. And then the festival starts at 12. Yeah. So we say that we have, we've probably thought of everything that we could possibly do and pay for, yeah. for this event. Um, the festival will be in three locations. It will be at Henderson Park. It will be at the strip of land called Park on Broad, which is next to Cutmasters on Broad Street, um, in between where like the Shrine Club is and, and that barbershop. That piece of land right there will be what we call our Kids Corner, mm -hmm. and it will have our inflatables and activities for the kids. Um, we will also have a, a chalk art contest as well, thanks to Color Fest. Um, we will have in the big field at Craven Terrace, we will have the stage with the tables for games and chess and checkers and all of those things, life-size Jenga and Connect Four and those types of things. Um, and in Henderson Park, we will have a football combine. We will have intramurals, if you're thinking like field day when you were a kid. Those are the intramurals That's that we'll awesome. have inside of uh, Henderson Park. And we will also have a, what is it, two-on-two -two basketball tournament. Yes. Uh, three-on-three. Three-on-three. Sponsored by Toyota. 
um, and that is being done by Mr. Antoine Scott and um, Paul McDonald and Paul McDonald of Toyota. Um, we will have double dutch we'll have horseshoes we'll have tons of everything uh, we will also have golf carts neglect yes. to mention golf carts to get people to their cars but most importantly for the elderly that may want to be involved in the walking parade or disabled but can't we'll make sure that we have we have a few golf carts we could always use more but um for anyone who wanted to participate we have those golf carts so we can shuttle people as well to start at the for, uh, beginning of the parade and may end at the end and need help getting back and forth and we'll have a variety of food, we'll have food trucks, we will have informational booths, we will have booths that have products that they sell their products and services. A blood drive. Yes, we have a blood drive. <laughs> yes, that will be at Henderson Park. Henderson Park. Yeah, um, super excited about that. And we also decided with that blood drive to give back whatever we could to the community with anything in Juneteenth. We're trying to give back as much as, much as we can to the community. So with the blood drive, if you give blood, yeah, I believe it's a $25 gift card. $20, $20. gift card. Um, and we'll have on the website how you can sign up to donate your blood. And the most important thing about this blood donation is that the blood stays local. And I am a witness of, of needing a few trans, a few uh, blood transfusions. So it's a blessing to be able to donate the blood, blood and keep it local. So that's good news. So and we appreciate them partnering with us. So. Yes. And quick intermission. Not for nothing. We're grateful to have you here with us. Aww. I mean, as one of the many city partners that is that has been a supporter from the beginning, that has literally gone through blood, sweat, and tears herself to get to stand here with us, to stand on that stage with us for Juneteenth. Yes. Many people may not know your struggle, but a lot of people were helped by it. Yeah. And I thank you for just being a friend to Juneteenth. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. That's what it's all about. Definitely. For the community. <laughs> for the community. <laughs> um, and we will also have Sip and Paint that night as well. Um, thanks to the village, uh, Edwin Life Lawrence and his wife, Tammy Dean, who own the village on Broad Street. Um, they will be having the sip and paint for adults later on in that evening that's awesome so fun for everybody yes and then we close it out on sunday with oh yeah so sunday is the is three events actually we're wrapping it up um we're gonna have a prayer walk a gospel music program and something we call my alpha which is the end of juneteenth it's the wrap up so at 1 p.m uh b, b. simmons uh, bonita simmons with my sister's house and try by fire mm -hmm. will be singing at broad street christian church in the parking lot and that's at 802 broad street um she will be singing a selection while uh the participants walk through a prayer lab the labyrinth that will be erected in that parking lot um for broad street christian church so as you walk around the labyrinth uh you can pray and just hear the hymn and kind of you know just um, be one with yourself and, and pray for our community that we all come together. Yes. So that is at 1 p.m. And then from 5 to 7, you get to hear the full glory of her voice because she will be having a community gospel concert. And anyone in the community is welcome to reach out to her on the Juneteenth of Newburgh Facebook page um, or the website and let her know that you're interested in being in the gospel choir. Mm -hmm. And she will be having a, <laughs> yes, a gospel program at the Omega Center from 5 to 7, um, June 20th. That's awesome. And then to wrap that up, at 7.30 p.m., we'll be going to Union Park to Union Point, Union Park. Point Park to not just, um, because initially we wanted to hold hands mm -hmm. to show solidarity, but we may very well just do something else where everyone has on the same thing and they come there and just pray. And we basically just thank God for a great Juneteenth celebration and we kind of lay the seeds for next year hoping that you know we have a, another great celebration the next year awesome so that is the wrap up so far so good <laughs> we are still accepting um you know ideas vendors volunteers because for the festival which is 12 to 8 on Saturday um we will need people to help with the trash we will need people peacekeepers who will walk with the police officers that will be patrolling that day as we display community policing throughout the entire event um just letting our kids and stuff know that it's safe and just um, having a really great time we don't anticipate obviously anything happening but we are trying to plan for everything um we are taking donations of ppe as well as um, we're looking for sponsors for things like our fireworks display, 
um, and our kids corner or things or anything the money will go through um, the younger professionals of Eastern North Carolina who are the fiduciaries but have set up a separate uh, financial structure just for Juneteenth so that all that money uh, that we receive goes directly into Juneteenth of New Bern and when the festival is over if there's anything left Juneteenth will be opening its own because it's grown so much yes its own nonprofit and that all of that money will transfer over into the Juneteenth of New Bern nonprofit. So three benefits that I see all of the festival and all of the events leading up to it if you donate your time or talent you are able to get a tax donation or because we're a 501c3 we'll check off your uh, volunteer hours because you know when you have to apply for certain jobs or apply or for college. different thing or college you need volunteer hours and we need you yes. so we have that there because we're so official that we can give you that so we need everybody to go to the Juneteenth of New Bern website or Facebook, like it, share it, tell everybody about it. We need you to save the dates the whole week because we need you at every event. We want to see everybody out there. This is a community-wide, New Bern-wide event. We want you guys to know and celebrate and appreciate Juneteenth just like we do. So again, it is Alderwoman Harris. And I'm here with Talina Massey, and this is your episode, our episode of This Week at City Hall.